Ladies, the ones that we call their names, please step forward. All right, are we ready? <laughs> Let's start with our first contestant who will be moving on to the top five finalists. And our first contestant is... The second contestant that will move to the top five this year, Miss Arab USA 2023 is... Asrar Qaisi! We are down to the third contestant. The third contestant who will be joining the two ladies in the front is... closer to achieving her dream tonight. Before I say the name, let's give it up to the all contestant for all their effort and all they've done tonight. Thank you so much. For they are all winners. The last contestant who will be joining us in the top five is... We have prepared questions for them. The judges have prepared questions. We have five questions that we're going to ask the contestants. We're going to go also in the same random order that we started. Let's have Kalina bring in the questions and the trophies. Welcome Kalina on stage. Kalina is one of our very valued members in the Muslim organization. All right, we're going to start in the same order. Ladies, when you hear your name, please come this way. You pick your own question. I'm just helping you out, because you have a lot carrying in your hand. And I'm going to start with the first contestant. Noor. Noor is representing Palestine. Come forward. So Noor is going to pick her own question, and then I'll read it for her. Right. So, your question, Noor, is going to be from Amani. What actions are you personally taking to benefit the females in your country? for a Palestinian woman from Palestine. I show them every day that a Palestinian woman is strong. She is resilient. She keeps going no matter what. Every day I get up and I go to work, I save lives and I run into a burning building to save lives. And that shows true strength and the true power of a woman is 
especially the Palestinian women, to continue to persevere. Thank you, Noor. Thank you so much. No visit from Palestine. Thank you, Noor. Now, the second question is going to be for Asrar Paisi. This question is from Amira Sharif. How are you going to use your experience or education to give back to the world? I'm going to use my experience in education to speak up at all times to please protect your mental health and strive for personal growth at all times. Always challenge yourself and you will see the person that you've always wanted to be. That is why I'm here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Asla. Our third contestant is going to be Farah Abu Adila representing Jordan. Farah, please pick your question. All right. Farah, your question is going to be from Shadia Baidun. What accomplishments or challenges have you overcome that would make you a great fit as Miss Arab USA? So, I was always alone. I had no one to help me in my life. My family had no money to help me and I was all alone. The challenge was to go after my dream without waiting for anybody to help me without waiting anyone to put me in my feet every time I fall. Thank you so much, Farah Abu Thank you, Farah. Shirin Nasrawi, please step forward, choose a question. Shirin, this question is from Jeannie. How will you use your title as Miss Arab USA to benefit others if you win tonight. I'll repeat you the question. How will you use your title as Miss Arab USA to benefit others if you win tonight? Actually, my mission is the, um, the organization's mission. Um, the first thing that attracted me to apply and be here today is the charity work. Um, so I'm into the charity work and uh, to promote the Arab culture heritage and represent the Arab values to uh, the Arabs inside the United States and outside and to represent the beauty of the Arab women and um, to represent actually the beauty from inside and outside to represent the fashion, intelligence, authenticity and to promote the Arab heritage and culture in the most best way that I can. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shireen. Our last contestant who will be joining me right now is Maya Mandawi. Maya, we still have one question for you. All right, let's... Your question is going to be from Bache, and it says, as a pageant winner, you'll be a role model. How would you like to influence the lives of young Arab women? Thank you for your question, Dayat. The way I would try to inspire the lives of young Arab women is to encourage them to never compare themselves to anyone because the only person you should be comparing yourself to is the person you are today and the person you will be tomorrow. Thank you so much, Maya. Thank you, Maya. Thank you so much, ladies. So the judges now are actually calculating the final score. We will take those scores and we will put them in the computer and we will get the result in a little bit.